And we're here now at Harry A. Nottingham Park. We've got the pavilion behind us. I've got Liz Wood with the town of Avon joining us once again. Last week we were on stand-up paddle boards. <laughs> we're a little more grounded today, aren't we? Yeah. That absolutely. was a lot of fun, though. That just shows the diversity of things that are available here for people. It was super fun, and what a peaceful way to spend a morning. Yeah, you know, that? there wasn't any wind out there. The water was flat, calm. You could have brought your coffee and, and hung out out there. We totally could have, <laughs> and I think that's the good thing to mention. There's a beautiful beach where you can rent stand up paddle boards and paddle boats, and you can swim in the little beach area. You can fish around the lake. You can bike around the lake. And then along with just the daily activities, there's a plethora of stuff happening. The circus was just here. It was a hit. I yeah. think from what I understand, a big hit. Uh, that's pretty neat. But then things continue. Tonight there's live music, a bike race coming up. Kind of a big bike race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, tell us what's going on. Let, 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 fill us in. Yeah, this week in Avon, tonight we have a great concert. We have the Long Run, which is Colorado's tribute to the Eagles. We're super excited to welcome them to the stage. They have been a band for 10 years now and put on an amazing performance. So they will uh, take the stage here at about 7 o'clock and we have the Sesh as an opening act. They start at 5.30. Um, there's $3 beverage discounts before 6 p.m. So Nottingham Park is going to be a great place to spend the afternoon and evening today. And then on Friday, yeah. we have the Colorado Classic coming through Avon, which is a really, really great cycling event. Um, it's an all-women's event this year, and we will have the fastest women cyclists in the world here in Avon. Um, the Colorado Classic kicks off tomorrow in Steamboat Springs, and then on Friday, they'll travel here to Avon. Um, there will be some impact in town, road right. closures and some uh, traffic impact impact, but um, for the most part, Nottingham Park is going to be the place to be both for the concert tonight and for the Colorado Classic on Friday. I think it's just clear to, 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 to let people know once again, uh, the town will not shut down, right? No. Just to make yeah. it clear, there's going to be some road closures. Um, if, you're, if you're working in Avon, um, obviously, if you come into town to park, you might have to wait a little bit to get out of town. So mm -hmm. if you can ride a bike into town, it might be an easier option for you on the tail end of this bike race. Yeah, absolutely. And the road closures are really going to be most impactful between 12 and 4. Okay. So it's not an all-day thing. Um, at noontime, we're going to start to shut things down and clear the course. The racers will take off from right here on Lake Street at 1 o'clock. Um, and at that point, the Sweet Lilies take the stage and will be doing a, a live performance here in Nottingham Park for us. And um, the course itself is a circuit. So the racers are going to come right by Nottingham Park seven times okay. before they do their final lap, which goes up and down Beaver Creek. It's a 15-mile <laughs> final right. lap with about a 30-minute hill climb in there. And they're going to be cranking the whole time. So, uh, fine, there's plenty of places for spectators to watch the races if you want to see uh, the best female cyclists on the planet, which is pretty amazing. I mean, they are pure athletes um, at the top of their game. And then also, Liz, this area right here on the grass, um, a lot of activity happening with live music and food vendors and, and things like that. Yeah, yeah, there'll be plenty to do here in the park as well. Um, as I said, the Sweet Lilies will be here. Um, there'll be primal gear for sale, and we will have food vendors, ice cold drinks available. Um, so the park will be uh, a very popular place on Friday and really a great place to watch the race just because the cyclists come by so many times and this is a little bit of a technical part of the course where they're turning onto Lake Street and then onto West Beaver Creek Boulevard so you'll get to see some maneuvering of the Peloton as well. That's right there'll be plenty of people here to help with the crowds the crowd control uh, because along with the bike racers there's going to be there's going to be their their help wagons that are going to be following along also so I'll uh, just plan on that but first plan on tonight long run the Eagles tribute band right here on the stage right yeah Good yeah time. we're super okay. excited for tonight it's gonna be a great show uh, kicks off at 530 okay Liz thank you for your time again today thank you so much Mark great to be here hey we'll be right back we have weather then we have epic morning with Ashley coming up